and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at neat play notation. This video is intended as a practice video. There is another video available on my channel which explains neat play notation in more detail. So first of all, a really short recap. So here we have what a basic nuclide notation would look like. X is the symbol for the element. Z is the atomic number. And that is equal to the number of protons. A is the mass number. And that is equal to the protons and the neutrons together. And M plus or minus is the charge and can be used to help you calculate the number of electrons. Positive means that you have lost electrons. Negative means that you have gained electrons. So here's a really quick example. We have sodium and we need to calculate the number of protons, neutrons and electrons. So protons is equal to the atomic number, which is 11. Neutrons is always mass number minus atomic number, so it's 12. And electrons is always the atomic number minus the charge, in which case we have no charge, so it's 11. Here we have one with the charge. So again, calculating protons, neutrons and electrons. Protons is the same as the atomic number. Neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. And electrons is the atomic number minus the charge. So in this case, we've lost two electrons, so we only have 10. And here's one with a negative charge. So protons, same as the atomic number. Neutrons is mass minus atomic. And electrons is atomic minus the charge. In this case, we have a negative charge, so that adds on. We have gained one electron, so we now have 10. Pause the video now and try these six examples. So for calcium, the number of protons is 20, so the same as the atomic number. The neutrons is the mass number minus the atomic number. And then the electrons is the atomic number minus the charge. For argon, protons is 18. Neutrons is 40 minus 18. And electrons is 18 minus 0, so 18. For nickel, Protons is 28, the atomic number. Neutrons is 58 minus 28, 30. And electrons is 28 minus 0, 28. For this isotope of carbon, we have 6 protons. Neutrons is 13 minus 6, so we have 7. And electrons is atomic minus the charge, so we have 6. For bromine, protons is the same as the atomic number at 35. Neutrons is 80 minus 35, so we have 45 neutrons. And electrons is 35, as we have no charge, so they have to balance the protons. For silicon, we have 14 protons. We have 28 minus 14 is 14, and then we have 14 electrons also. For these next six we have charges so pause the video now and try them. So for beryllium we have four protons, for neutrons we have nine minus four which is five and for electrons we take the atomic number and we minus the charge. So in this case, we've lost two electrons, so we only have two. For gallium, we have 31 protons. Neutrons is 70 minus 31, which is 39. And then for electrons, we have 31 minus the charge, which is 3. So we have 28 proton electrons in total. We've lost three electrons, so we only have 28 left. 
here we have two negatively charged ions. So for protons for the chlorine, we have 17. Neutrons, we have 37 minus 17, so there are 20. And for electrons, we do 17 minus the charge, which is negative. So that adds on and gives us 18. For oxygen, we have 8 protons. For neutrons, we have 16 minus 8. And for electrons, we have 8 minus the charge, which is negative 2. So we have 10 electrons in total. Manganese, we have 25 protons. Neutrons, we have 55 minus 25, so we have 30. And for electrons, we have 25 minus 5. We've lost 5, so we only have 20 electrons. For phosphorus, we have 15 protons. 31 minus 15, which is 16 neutrons. And for electrons, we do 15 minus negative 3. So we have 18 electrons in total. You also need to be able to go the other way to be able to draw out nuclide notation. So to do this, you use the number of protons and your data book to find out what symbol you have. So if we have 15 protons, we have an atomic number of 15. This means that the symbol is P. You then put the atomic number at the bottom. We have to work out the mass number. So to work out the mass number, we're going to have 15 plus 16, which is 31. So we take the protons and the neutrons. To work out any charge, you're going to do protons minus electrons. So in this case, we have no charge. Let's do the same thing over here. So we have 19 protons. So if we look up 19 protons as an atomic number, that is potassium, K. And we put the atomic number at the bottom left, 19. We're then going to add the protons and the neutrons together. So that gives us 39 for a mass number. And then for the charge, we're going to do protons minus electrons. So we do 19 minus 18, we have a charge of plus one. We don't need to put in the number. So try and write nuclide notation for each example. So our first example, we have three protons. If we look up three protons, that is lithium. We can put in the atomic number three at the bottom. We're going to add together the protons and the neutrons. So we have seven for the mass number. And we're going to take away the electrons from the protons to get charged. So we have no charge. In the second example, we have eight protons. So an atomic number of eight is oxygen. Put the protons down at the bottom left. We're going to add together the protons and the neutrons to get the mass number of 16 and we're going to take away the electrons from the protons and we still have no charge for this example. For 10 protons the atomic number is 10 which makes this neon. You put 10 in as the atomic number. We're going to add together the protons and the neutrons, so we have a mass number of 20, and we have no charge. If we look up atomic number 13, we have aluminium. Aluminium has a mass number of 27, if we add the protons and the neutrons. And here, if we take the electrons from the protons, we find that we have a charge of plus three. So in this next example, we have seven protons. If we look up atomic number seven, that is nitrogen. Nitrogen has a mass number of 14 if we take protons and neutrons and add them together. And if we take protons minus electrons, we get a charge of three negative for this ion. In our last example, we have 47 protons. That is silver. Add together the protons and the neutrons. We have 107 for the mass number. And if we take the electrons from the protons, we get plus one as our charge. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found the practice helpful. 
Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!